Okay guys, hope you all are doing okay. We're gonna get started. I have an agenda for you right here. An exam one curve, your exam this week, your lab report for next week, and then your research assignment. And let me go ahead. If you have questions, you can put them in the chat or you can unmute, that's fine. I have the chat um, visible to me so that I can look at that while I'm going. But there is going to be a curve for exam one, which just means that you're going to get points depending on the student's highest grade. So like if a student got the highest grade was an 80, right, then that means that everybody's going to get an additional 20 points to compensate. Um, so that hasn't been implemented yet because I was waiting on one student that had an illness but I'm gonna input those and then I'll send an announcement when I do that. But everyone is gonna get a curve for that one. The lab exam, you all just took that one. There's two more. And so hopefully after that, you kind of, now you kind of know what to expect. Those pictures, I, like I made that test. I went through each of your virtual labs. I took screenshots of the pictures. So now, now you know the format. It's, it's nothing that you haven't seen before. Everything that you do in your virtual labs will be in a lab exam. So um, maybe that's just a, a good study tactic for you all just to keep in mind those things. But all those graphics, those questions, those are straight from your virtual labs. Um, so I'm not sure if anybody had questions on the lab exam. If you do, you can put that in the chat. Um, for exam two, that is going to be this weekend. I think I'm going to, I think I have it open Friday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then that is over chapters four through six. You do have a lab report, but that's not due this week. That's going to be due next week. And I'm only mentioning it now because it's based on the enzyme virtual labs, which are the ones that you're completing this week. So just know that the one you're doing this week for enzymes, there will be another group lab report next week. And then probably the biggest thing I need to speak on is your, your little research assignment. So let me see if I can share my screen with you guys. One second. Okay, you should be able to see my screen and so let's say that you are in week six. Once you scroll down, here's research assignment topics and the task list. And once you click on there, there's a discussion board. There's a few topics that you can choose. Um, and this is gonna be what you are doing your research assignment on. And you can only choose one. And once you choose, um, no other group can choose the same topic. So if you want to go ahead and complete this as soon as possible, it's probably to your benefit so that you can actually choose the one that is most interesting to you. And this is due on Sunday. Just very simple. I just need you to pick one. That, that's all that you need to do. There's nothing else. You just need to pick a topic and make sure that you pick one by Sunday. And it's going to be for the whole group, so only one person from your group needs to pick one. It's super easy. For this one, the research assignment individual task list, this is not due this week, but I put it in this folder so that you can look at it. This is going to be due on Tuesday. And let's see if I can pull this up. I'm not sure. Can you all see this? Let me know. Can you see the the Word document that I pulled up. It's kind of hard. I can't really flip back and forth. Can someone unmute themselves and let me know? Um, no, I can't see the Word document. How about now? Can you see it? Yeah. Still no? Mm, no. Okay. Then I'm going to have to download it. All right. One second. I don't know that it'll show you because it's gonna download onto my, yeah, I'm gonna have to change this. Let's see. That one. All right, how about now? 
Can you see it now? Yeah, I see it now. Okay, so this is that's already uploaded there. I have all the dates. Like by this Sunday, you need to pick your topic, and then on Tuesday is the task list. And all that that is is that you're going to put each member's name and what they're going to do, what they're going to be researching on. So each person in your group does need to contribute to research. Like I can't just have somebody saying like, oh, well, I'll put the information together or I don't know, I'll do the recording. Each person does need to do their own research. So it's just a list. It's it's not like you're turning in an outline with a lot of detailed information. It's just basically what they're going to choose and that's it. They're responsible for that. That's going to be due Tuesday. That's also a very simple task to complete. The big thing is like putting it all together. And I and this is the air for you to download. It's a 17 slide PowerPoint presentation on the topic that you get to choose. And then I have a there's a rubric for you to look at. But then at the end of it, I need you to narrate it. And I provided you a YouTube link. If you don't know on PowerPoint, you are able to narrate or voice over your PowerPoint. And uh, I don't have it on there right now, but I was thinking about it. Um, I'll give you extra credit if I get more than, I don't know, two people to narrate. Because I, I thought it would be kind of hard to have this file just floating around of people narrating. Um, so I don't have it as a requirement, but I'll put it as extra credit if you get at least two to, two people to narrate on that video. I'll give you extra credit for that, and then um, I'll go ahead and put that additional. Um, yes? What if they don't contribute? If they don't, just don't put their name. But am I going to have to do it, like, all? Yes. Okay. Just don't put their name, and then um, that's fine. Okay, thank you. Okay, are there questions on this specifically? The topics, I have, um, where'd they go? So if you don't know where the topics are, you'll go into the class, you click on week six, research assignment topics, and it's here in the discussion. These are the topics that you can choose from. And that's really it. Um, are there questions on any of that stuff? Let me stop sharing. Let me see, I can't really see the comments here. Okay. Do y'all have questions on any of that stuff so far? No? Okay. Um, I'm trying to think of any other updates that I need to provide you, and I can't think of any. But as always, please be checking your grades. If something is wrong, please reach out to me because it. I know it's difficult. Like, the virtual thing is difficult. So if you do see something that you did complete or something of that sort, please send me an email so that I can forward up and check on that. Um because I mean, that's really important. So just make sure that you are keeping on top of your grade, that you're seeing it and that it is accurate. If it's not, then send me a message. Um, and you can always email me. Uh, pronto, you can do that. I try not to answer at night just to respect myself, basically. Uh, but I do reply in a timely manner. Um, I think that's it. Any other questions? Okay, guys. Well, then we will go ahead and close this out. If you think of anything, you can email me, you can send me a message, and I'll go ahead and reply to you. I hope you'll have a good day. It's a really nice day. If you haven't gone outside, please go outside, go for a walk, take a break. Uh, being virtual is difficult. I know it takes a toll on us. So if you haven't gone outside today, please go outside. It's nice. And we're supposed to have cold weather for the next few days, I think. Um, and I think that's it. Okay, guys. Well, thank you. And we'll close this out, and I'll see you guys next week. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye, Miss. Bye.